What's up guys, it's Strax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another short video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get the police officer logo just like you guys see in the thumbnail. So this is going to be a real simple glitch. You guys don't have to do transfer so you guys won't be losing any of your outfits. But for this you guys are going to want to go ahead and go to story mode and once you guys are in story mode make sure your character is set to Michael. After it's set to Michael you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go to any gun store that you guys want to on the map. So after you guys are at a gun store, you guys are now just going to want to go ahead and walk over here to the clothing on the right side inside the gun store. So after you guys are here, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and buy the LSJC gray hoodie, which should be this one right here. So after you guys go ahead and do that, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go to a clothing store. So I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to a clothing store. So once you guys are at the clothing store, make sure you guys are not at the suburban clothing store or the luxury clothing store. Make sure you're at this clothing store where I'm at right here. There's multiple clothing stores like this on the map where I'm at, but if you guys just want to go ahead and make sure you guys go to the right one on the first try, just go to this one where I'm at at this location. So it's just right across the strip club from where the clothing store is at. So, so after you guys are here at this clothing store, just go over here and walk to your shorts. So whenever you guys go ahead and walk over here to your shorts, just go ahead and scroll down until you guys find the beige plaid Bermudas, which is on slot 17. So after you guys go ahead and do that, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and head to the flight school. So I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave the cheat codes right here for PlayStation and Xbox in case you guys want to go ahead and spawn in a buzzard. So I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to the airport. Once you guys are at the airport and you guys are at this location where I'm at near the flight school. So now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and pull up your phone and just quick save your game. So just in case you guys fail or if you guys die, you guys will spawn back here if any of that happens. So after you guys go ahead and quick save your game, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and walk up the stairs and go to the flight school. Once you guys are here, just go ahead and enter the flight school. So after you guys go and enter the flight school, then you guys are, it's just going to bring up these challenges. You guys are just going to want to go and select the first one that's called training takeoff. So after you guys select that, it may bring you into the instructions. And if it does bring you into the instructions, just go ahead and skip it. So once you guys go ahead and spawn into the plane, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and hit pause. And then after you guys hit pause, scroll to your settings, click on controls, scroll down to targeting mode and set your targeting mode to frame. After you guys do that, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and try to join a friend in a different targeting mode. So you guys will be getting two alerts, accept the first alert and then decline the second. So just like I do here, accept the first one and then decline the second, then hop out of the plane and then hit pause as fast as you can. So after you guys do that, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and try to join a friend in a different targeting mode again. But this time you guys will be accepting the first alert, but stay on the second alert until you guys hear the job fail. So stay on the second alert until you guys hear the job fail. And after you guys do that, go to your PlayStation or Xbox home button, then go ahead and click on GTA again, decline the alert, and then hit pause as fast as you can. And if you guys did it right, you guys will see that Michael is standing on the flight school stairs. And so after you guys did that, just scroll to online, go ahead and click on, go ahead and click online, scroll down to play GTA online, and then go to an invite only session. So this menu will stay up right here, and then you guys, I'll just get back to you whenever I'm about to load into an online session. Okay guys, so whenever your character is about to load in, you guys, or whenever you guys do load in, you guys are just going to want to go ahead for Xbox, hit B, and then A. But for PlayStation, hit Circle, and then X. So just like that, it should bring up that notification, then hit whatever, whichever console you're on, then you guys will know what I said. But if you guys did it right, then you guys can see you guys do have the police badge on your shirt right here. So the color of your shirt will be the crew color that you're in, or the, I guess it will be the color of your crew that you're in. But yeah, so after you guys do that, I'll be showing what I'll be showing you guys what you guys can and cannot do. But yeah, so I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to a clothing store. So once you guys get to a clothing store, just go ahead and save your outfit just in case you guys mess something up so this outfit won't get deleted. Okay guys, so after you guys saved it so the logo won't get deleted in case you guys mess something up, you guys can just go ahead and change anything you guys want except the top. So if you guys go ahead and go over here to your tops, you guys can see that the logo does disappear. So even if, even if I do scroll down to t-shirts, then you guys can see that the logo does disappear. So you guys are only able to keep it on your crew color or the crew on your crew t-shirt color or crew t-shirt, I don't even know. <laughs> But yeah, so after you guys check that, you guys can just go to your pants and you guys can put on any pants that you guys want. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and create an outfit right, right now. So I'll just get back to you whenever I do create my outfit. So yeah, this is my outfit I created with this, but I'll be showing you guys how you guys can get the long sleeve glitch shirt, just like you guys see in the thumbnail. But this is a simple outfit, just in case you guys don't wanna do that glitch shirt stuff. You guys are able to put on body armor. So if you guys go up to your inventory, go to, or your interaction menu, go to inventory, go to your body armor. You guys are able to equip the body armor without losing the logo. So just like I said, you guys cannot tr change your t-shirt or else you guys will lose the logo. But yeah, you guys can put on any shoes, any gloves, any accessories you guys want, like with your mask and helmet. But yeah, so now I'm going to be showing you guys the components so then you guys can go ahead and glitch the long, if you guys want to get the long sleeve glitch shirt with your crew color or with your crew shirt. So if you guys want to go ahead and get the long sleeve glitch shirt, just go ahead and take off your character's accessories like his helmet and his mask and just like bulletproof helmet and stuff or bulletproof vest. So after you guys go ahead and do that, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go to your clothing. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. If you guys don't like your character being bald, you guys can go ahead and find a new session and then your hair will come back. But yeah, so for this, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go to your tops. And so whenever you guys go to your tops, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go to utility vest, which is on slot 52. And now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and look for the peach plate carrier. So after you guys find the peach plate carrier, which is on slot 43, it should look like this. Go ahead and select it. And after you guys select it, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go over here to your outfit. So then you guys can go ahead and save your outfit. So you guys can save this on slot 1 or slot 20. It doesn't matter. So after you guys go ahead and save it, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and look for the bodysuits or the co heist coveralls. So you guys can back out of your saved outfits and scroll down until you guys find heist coveralls which is on slot 13 so go ahead and click on heist coveralls and you guys can choose you guys can choose any of these from slot 9 through slot 12 so after you guys choose one that you like or it doesn't really matter but after you guys choose one you guys are now just going to want to go ahead and go to the telescope on the other side of the pier so at the beach so i'll get back to you whenever i do get to a telescope so once you guys are at the pier and you guys are in front of a telescope, just go ahead and do the telescope glitch. And after you guys did the telescope glitch, you guys will see that your your mask and your stuff, your your hoodie will come off. So just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and just go ahead and equip the outfit you guys made with the peach plate carrier. So go ahead and select that outfit and then go ahead and walk away. And as you guys can see, your outfit should look like this where you guys have your mask on. So after you guys do that, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go to the clothing store or mask store and go ahead and save this outfit in slot one. So just like I said, just go to the clothing store or mask store and go ahead and save this outfit in slot one or slot 20. So after you guys do that, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and start a Titan of a job. So just go ahead and hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, scroll down to missions and start up a Titan of a job. Once you guys are in a Titan of a job, you guys can just go ahead and confirm your settings and then just go ahead and launch the job. It's gonna ask, are you sure you guys wanna launch the job on your own? Just hit yes. Okay guys, so once you guys spawn in, it should be the t-shirt with the police logo on it and the other components you guys made with the outfit. So your peach plate carrier will come off and it should only be your mask. So now you guys can just go ahead and go to any gun store on the map, it doesn't matter, but I'll get back to you whenever I do get to a gun store. Once you guys are inside of a gun store, just go ahead and go to the clothing and then you guys can just go ahead and save this outfit in slot one or slot 20. So after you guys go ahead and do that, now you guys can just go ahead and pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. Once you guys spawn back in, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and run back into the ammunition store. So after you guys do that, just go over here and go to your tops. Once you guys are here, just scroll up to vest, which is on slot 46. And you guys are just going to want to go ahead and choose any one. It doesn't matter. This is not the one that you guys will need to worry about. So you guys can choose any vest that you guys want. But after you guys do that, scroll down to vest shirts, which is on slot 47. And you guys can choose any long sleeve that you guys want. You guys can choose the white, yellow, the yellow, red, or pink, or the black. So you guys can choose any of these. It doesn't really matter. So after you guys do that, I'm going to choose the black one because I think it just matches my outfit. So after you guys do that, you guys can now just go ahead and start up a crooked cop. So just go ahead and hit pause, scroll to online, click on jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, scroll down to verses and go ahead and start up a crooked cop. 
Once you guys load into a crypt cop, make sure your clothing is set to player owned. And after it's set to player owned, then you, you can have the host, or if you're the host, just go ahead and launch the session. Okay guys, so if you guys saved your outfit with the peach plate carrier on slot one, scroll one time to the right, but if you saved it on slot 20, go ahead and scroll one time to the left. And so if you guys did that, then you guys can see that it's the outfit you guys created with your crew t-shirt and the police logo on. So after you guys do that, now you guys can just hit ready to play. Once you guys go ahead and load in, you guys can now just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to invent or scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and on your gear, scroll one time to the left to put on the LCD earpiece. Now, after you guys go ahead and do that, you guys can go ahead and pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. So once you guys load back into online, you guys can see I still do have my outfit with the place logo. So you guys can go ahead and equip anything you guys want. You guys can just change any components. You guys can change your pants, your shoes, your gloves. You guys can do any of that, except you guys cannot change your top or else the long sleeves will go away and the crew and the crew logo will also disappear. So if you guys want to go ahead and put on a mask, you guys can go ahead and do that. And you guys can also go ahead and equip the black bulletproof helmet or not black bulletproof helmet. I'm just used to saying that you guys can equip any helmet you guys want. It doesn't matter. So that's basically it. So after you guys go ahead and equip the stuff that you guys wanted with your outfit, you guys can now just go ahead and save it on any slot that you guys want. So that's basically the end of the glitch. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys did enjoy this glitch. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.